Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chine Nyangwa. Welcome back to Nene's Diary. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and do so to support your girl. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing on friendship, the importance of friendships, bitter experience of friendship, and also some of the deal breakers of friendship. So we all know what friendship is all about, the state of being friends, association of someone or to value someone's friendship. In our everyday life, we meet people. And at the process of meeting people, there are some people you will meet. Um, there will be a connection. There will be a sudden connection between the both of you. Like you people connect so easily. Whereas there are some people you will meet, that connection will not be there. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be friends with everybody. So it happens. It happens to me at times. So I think it happens to everyone. So it's not, it's not all the people you meet with that you connect immediately with there are some people it might take you time to connect with whereas there are some you cannot even connect at all so this friendship of eating is a two-way something is not one-sided and um, this friendship can also come from siblings it can come from your cousins so friendships can come from your family as well there are some friends you will meet with the kind of connection you have with the person and um years of friendship you've already had with that person you will no longer consider that person as a friend you will not take that person as a family it happens to people there are some people who need to say ah, this is my sister but we are not like immediate sisters some people now say um friends turned into family so friendship is one of the best things that can happen to anybody if you have a good one so friendships can positively or negatively impact us depending on how um you and your friends or maybe the way you relate with people just forget about all these people who say, I'm a loner, I don't go out, I don't associate with people, I don't need friends. No, lie, lie. Especially when we all have friends. Just that it depends on the quality of friends you make. At least you see, the only thing you tell me that you have a close circle. They, are, they have a, like a close circle of people you associate with. And also, there are some bitter experiences of friendship. Friendship is not always rosy. It's not always rosy. Because at times, there are some people you meet eh? <laughs> They will show you shege, shege banza promise. They will show you all of them are friendship. Mm -hmm. So, um, so friendship is not all about. It's not always um, always fun and also those kind of trips like they go together or those bestie bestie of it. It's not always like that. There are some people you meet and you regret ever being involved with the person. So I've experienced the bitter side of friendship. And also, I've experienced the good side of it at the same time. So I wouldn't say because I've experienced the bitter side of it, I would not say that friendship is not good. Friendship is good in our everyday life. Do you know what friendship means? There are some situations you'll find yourself in and you need someone to talk to. The only first person you will call is just die of close friend. You just pick up your phone and call the person immediately to tell the person he or she how your day went or maybe how what you are going through or something so as i used to tell people this friendship of 18 their shoulders are there for us to lean on yes that's the importance of friendship because when you ever whenever you find yourself in a difficult situation you call that person that is close to you that person you take like that person you consider as a friend that would be the first person you will call so um friendship is good at the same time it's bad but that depends on the kind of people you meet um, that's where we need spirit of discernment because in everything we are doing in this life we need spirit of discernment to be able to dictate the good and the bad so um so the bitter experience i've had um <laughs> it's not something i would like i would like to go into because it's so much and it's on the street of yt it's some of the friendship deal breakers i'm going to be highlighting some of them especially we women why i bring so <laughs> so I won't mind when so so I think majority of these friendship deal breakers are for girls, ladies, women, or any in any category you fall on. So it's for us. Um so I'm going to be highlighting them here. And please, if you have your own um friendship deal breaker, please you can leave it in the comment section as well. Because I know that in our everyday lives we've seen the bitter experience of friendship. We have some friends like everybody has friendship deal breakers. So one or two encounter will definitely make you to think twice about your friendship with that person so um so number one of them is trust trust is a five letter word but it means so much to people friendship without trust is is there there's no friendship like being friends with you i trust you so, so well be able to open up to you to be vulnerable to you with some certain information that i hold you dear to my heart 
and once that trust is broken mm. that friendship is no longer worth it so a lot of things might make friends not to be friends again and trust is the number one of it so number two is um this honesty this is number one on the top list among real women yes because i won't mind silly it's not that he's not among guys, but in common I in common too much. We are always dishonest with each other. It can bring deceit, which can contribute to breakdown of trust. And with dishonesty comes with a lot of lies that can result to difficult situations, which can tarnish someone's reputation or image. Like for someone to be dishonest with you, maybe the person might cook up a lie against you. And once that lie is being said, like already, that's um, the person has already destroyed your image. And also, all this thing brings breeds a lot of problems. So dishonesty, as they said, creates distrust. So number three, I'm going to be highlighting today is um, judgmental people. You know, there are these kind of friends you will have. They will be so judgmental that you will not be asking yourself, like, is it really worth it to have this kind of person as a friend? Any small thing you do, they will judge you as if they are God. Like, they judge you in so many ways that... You can't even believe yourself those kind of people mm -mm. we are not that perfect for someone to be judging you like that so number four is unhealthy competition like let me use our workplace as an example maybe you got promoted and your colleagues that like, you think they are friends with you they will indirectly be jealous of your promotion but you will not know and once that jealousy comes in envy starts they start envying your position. They will be jealous of you. And every little thing you do, they will always be jealous of you. And from there, that, that unhealthy competition creeps in. You might not even know that it's already happening. So it's everywhere. So all these kind of people, they will be jealous of every little thing you do, every little achievement you have. These people, they will be jealous of your family, your friends, like everything you have without you knowing. And once that comes in, once that jealousy comes in, hatred will start. So, if by chance you intend to notice this among your friends, my dear, you need to retrace your steps with those kind of people because it's already unhealthy for you. So, I think is it number four or number five? I can't remember. So, there are so many of it. These loyal people, these people that the worst set of people you will ever meet in this life. Yes, that the worst set of people when they come to your front, they'll be smiling with you, gesting with you, petting you, calling you names, like all those kind of um besties and all the, that's why i hate besties i don't do besties i'm sorry to say this but i don't do besties you can be my good friend but i don't do this bestie of a thing those people that are calling you your besties they are the ones stabbing you behind your back so they are more the set of disloyal people number six is disrespect those kind of people that disrespect you they don't even care where you are they talk back at you anyhow like those kind of people that will disgrace you in public in form of correction Yes, especially in public. They'll be like, I'm correcting you, but the way they will be correcting you, you said that they are correcting you, you even feel ashamed of yourself. There's so many ways you can correct people without bringing them down or making them to feel less of themselves. Those kind of people, they tend to disrespect you in any way. They find every slight opportunity to do so. Disrespect is linked to the breakdown of trust. And once you notice that at the same time, it's already a problem. So I think um, I've said a lot about deal breakers of friendship. If also, um, if you have any friendship deal breaker on your list, please go ahead and drop it on this comment section. And also, if you've had any bitter experience of friendship, please do well also to drop it here. Or if you have friends you've been friends with for so long, how long you've been friends with them? You know, like some friendship are what's for a lifetime. Yes, there are some friendship that are what for a lifetime. So those kind of friendship are not something to joke with. with. So if you eventually find anyone, please hold the person so dear to you. So, and yeah, this is officially the end of this video. And if you really enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.